so we're back over at the property finally I have debated this food plot the the one with the tower blind over and over and over on where I'm putting my licking branch you know on previous videos we talked about putting it over here on this trail and as much as I would like to just thinking about it it's I don't think I could get it really to look good and natural I forgot to bring my uh, mosquito repellent today so they're bugging the hell out of me um, but I couldn't I, I couldn't think of a way to get it where it would really look natural um, where I could get the, the deer to be okay with it so I decided to hang it right in front of the stand um, and reason for that being it's only a five yard shot to where I've got it maybe 10 at the, at the furthest it's not much further than that uh, I'll have to actually range it it's probably more like eight um, but my thought process for that is they're gonna come off this trail that we've talked about they're gonna come right across this field they're gonna come check this to see who's scraped who's who's rubbed the licking branch and then they're going to turn their back to the stand and come out here and graze. That's the hope. That's what I want them to do. I think they will once they start using this. Um, and we've also just put the, the one of the trail cams here. Um, so I'm kind of standing around talking to you after I got it turned on so I'd get some pictures sent to my phone. Um, make sure I've got it positioned right. I mean, it looks like it is from, from where I'm standing, but until it actually I get a picture or two or not know so let me show you what I've got for my licking branch so here we go got a, a vine hung down and I don't have a shovel with me so it was really hard to kind of tear it up but you can see there on the ground you can see on the ground I tore up uh, the ground a little bit with my nippers uh, I was thinking I'm probably going to have to mow this one more time before I plant. Um, I'm out here looking around. I've got some really good clover growth. That's not going to die out just by mowing it. Mowing it actually will help it. Um, got a lot of just grass growing out here. A few persimmon tree seedlings. Uh, so nothing I'm too concerned with losing. I'm still going to cut that tree down. Still going to open that lane up a little bit before season. Just I, I need the weather to cooperate. It's been real rainy. And then it's going to be coming up on 100 degrees in the next few days. And I don't really want to be working out in that. Um, I haven't got a picture to my phone yet. So I'm almost kind of worried about my camera. Because I want to make sure right here. I mean it's pointed right at it. So I think I will. I'm going to go check it in a second. I may have to put something up to make it point a little bit more. It might be angled down too much. Um, I'll give it a second, see if I get a picture maybe. Uh, but still going to plant this whole field. And the mixture I've talked about a couple times, and I'll actually show you that when we get to planting. Um, Yeah, I wanted to give you an update that I finally made my decision where I was going to put it. I think, especially since Desi's wanting to hunt this year, I think that's going to be perfect. Because the deer are going to come off the trail. There's also, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a trail there. There's a trail there. And there's also a trail right there. And then, of course, they use this one that we come in on. So they've got like one, two, three, four, five, six trails they come in. On, on this property or on this not on the property but on this um, spot uh, so I think no matter which trail they come off of they're gonna come over and check this branch they're gonna or they're licking branch they're gonna do their thing they're gonna paw the ground they're gonna smell it they're gonna rub their antlers on it I might have a little low off on the ground I don't know I mean I've got it waist high so that should be about right um but i think they're going to come with no matter which trail they come they're going to come across they're going to check it 
and then they're going to go and graze or do whatever they, they do. That's the hope. With Desi hunting this year, she's really wanting to get one with a crossbow. Um, I need to put some a little bit more concealment here where they can't see us coming up because the way we come from the blind, I've got a trail cut through the woods here, direct behind it, and we actually rake all the leaves off of it so there's no sound coming in. We have no impact on this. Um, and then once I put something there where they can't see underneath the stand, underneath the tower blind, um, it'll be absolutely zero contact on coming in and leaving. So even if there's deer in the field, I can sneak in and leave. Um, so that'll really be, that'll be great for her because she'll absolutely love getting one with her crossbow. She got one with her 6.5 a few years ago. That was her first one, but she really wants to get one with her crossbow. So everything should work out. I'm going to go check this camera. I'm going to probably put something to, to position. I noticed it's pointing down quite a bit, so I'm going to position it a little bit more pointing up. And then I'm going to get out of here. Uh, probably got a few branches by the gate on the way out for the deer at the house. Uh, and I may come back to you then. I may not. I don't know. Bye for now.